On third and 13, intercepted. Vitt threw it high to Shereen, and Leon O'Neal Jr. takes it away for AM. That is a great interception. And Shereen, number one right there, he is listed. As Innovative of a play as we've seen in college football in the last 25 years. Pressure coming. Vitt thrown down on the first sack of the season for Texas A&M. It's a loss of six. Senior Ronnie Elam came free. And that's the thing with the jet sweep when you vacate that side. Oh, now starting for Cliff Kingsbury. And that's another pick. Miles Jones jumps the route. And Texas A&M with its second takeaway of the night. To go, let's go in a different direction. 225 pound right hander throws another pick. He's following up with what Vic did. It's a third takeaway. Ronnie Elam has one now. Four man rush. Jensen pressured and he goes down. Tyree Johnson forced him into the pressure. And it's a third sack of the night for Texas A&M. Well, I've been having my eye on Johnson. You can see him coming off this side, but really both sides squeeze this pocket straight into the lap of Jensen. Watch Tyree Johnson on the left side there. Look at the leverage. He was there one year, and then Jimbo Fisher brought him over. Last year to A&M, Lawrence, deep throw, up for grabs, and incomplete, well covered. You mentioned the size of Miles Jones, and there it is. Mike Elko says Clemson wins a lot of jump balls, but we have big guys who can compete for those. You got to be, you got to be on the same plane as these wide receivers. You can't get beat off the line of scrimmage. First of all, you got to be even with them so you can go up and fight for the football. And you can't do it any better than Miles Jones. Actually, in that case, he realized that he missed football too much. Wouldn't be able to play here, so he transferred to play for Terry Baum at Salem College. ETN dumped for a loss. They'll give him the 30 yard line before he was driven back by Buddy Johnson. Buddy Johnson, the new starting middle linebacker, is going to fill the gap. Comes in there unblocked, takes a good path to the football, and then wraps up the tackle. And again, that is the focal point, I think, for this. And now Knicks, the frozen offensive line play. Shiders, the Aggies are ready. Dropping for a loss. Matt Abike, the defensive tackle being huddled for the Tigers. And so they disguise it so they can try and disguise it. The Aggies are ready for this one. Back along the end. Next stepping up. He feels the rush and takes the sack. Matt Abike gets the sack on Bo Nix. This is happens. It's over. You can see as he's looking down the field. But right here, he sees rush. And now it's like he's caged and just oh, find me an empty place to get second that's extended right here. Some long developing play as much time off the clock as you can. Redlow draw Brown the first. Starkle, they tried to hit the corner coming inside. Picked off. Intercepted by Manabike. And Aaron ill-advised cataclysmic throw by Starkle. His sixth interception in the last two games. Well, this is all panic from Nick Starkle. He's got to be smarter with the football. A, even a sack in this situation is better than the end result. Nick Starkle gets pressure, comes in his face right now, looks like they wanted to shovel it, and instead he just throws it up, bounces off a defender, and the big defensive tackle, Justin Matabuke, with a big... Oh, Here's Starkle below the throw. To the end zone. Intercepted by AM. Damani Richardson. First interception of the year thrown by Tua. And the Aggies defense does hold. He wanted him to throw the ball there because this guy goes like this for the pickoff. Watch him. He wants him to throw the ball to the middle because Richardson is baiting the throw the whole way. That is how you coach football. Not only that, number 26 is the guy they told us yesterday is the next star on defense for the Aggies. He's a true freshman, and he just made the biggest play of the game for his D. And Alaxahatchee, Texas. Play fake to Harris. Tiger Maloa all wrapped up. Great play defensively by Aaron Hansford, who got in there immediately to make the tackle. 
Tagabaloa scans the field, has all day, crosses the middle. Oh, incomplete. Out again. And a quarterback run again, and it is taken down. Tyree Johnson. And AM has won the chess match the last couple. That's a backer start to play real hesitant. After six consecutive runs, Plumley's showing pass. And he gets dropped. The ball came out, scooped up by AM. Aggies have it. It's Buddy Johnson, the former high school quarterback. And he'll take it the rest of the way. 63 yards in the scoop and score. And AM's defense bails him out. Ole Miss had so much momentum on that drive. That right there shows the youth of John Rice Plumley throwing the football. Normal drop back, stayed in the pocket. He's got to stay there. He does not have to vacate the pocket just yet. And if he does, he needs to run away from pressure to his left. A lot of young quarterbacks gravitate to escaping the pocket to your right. He escaped right into traffic. That's what led this game on right guard now playing center. Phillips hit in the backfield by Matabike. No gain. On a foggy night in Oxford, second and goal. Very slow developing run by Scotty Phillips. No gain. Plumley Can't escape Texas A&M and Devin Morris. Corral lets it go. Intercepted! Texas A&M gets it from Chapman. I do not like the play. Third down and 10. Schrader spins out of trouble. Gets it off, but it is incomplete. They're going to say turnover. They're going to say taken away by the Aggies. Pretty cool to see Laura back on the set, having a good time. Now the boy, you're happy to have her back. Boy, some strong running inside by Nick Gibson, but lost the football, and the Aggies have it at the 20. Gibson going for every yard he can get, but it cost him the football. That's tough for a back to run and try to get extra yards, and he's fighting, he's fighting, he's fighting. You see here. He's fighting guys off, and this is what defense guys do. They hold you up, and one guy rips that football out. Schrader. Flags come flying, and Schrader is dropped back at the 37-yard line. Couldn't get rid of the football that time. He'll Excited to watch that film and see how well he's played. Over the middle pass is caught by Davis. Big gainer out to the 40-yard line, and he loses the football, and the Aggies have it. Bulldogs pointing like he was down. Excuse me, Stephen Gidry on that catch. Gidry just had a, it was a routine play, it appeared, and then Jones just comes in there and strips it out. Yeah, that football like is clearly out. Marcis will keep it himself, and he is hit and dropped back at the 43. That'll be a loss of three. To Marvin Leal. Delinsky airs it out into coverage. It is incomplete. 4,957. And they're up for this third and 10. And it's another third down stop by Texas A&M. Justin Matabike dirtied Helinski's In the Georgia backfield. And it's a toss. To Swift trying to get to the corner. He's going to get dumped for a big loss on the opening play by Anthony Hines, the outside linebacker. Interesting, that's the same play that Georgia ran to start their series there in that two minute drill against Auburn. Brown trying to pick one up here. He's not going to get a chance. Down he goes. Way back around the 15 yard line. Justin Matabike, who raises havoc on everybody he plays, and that's going to be his. Fifth sack of the year. Yeah, he's the leader in sacks, and this time a nice stunt gets inside. Left tackle that time, Andrew Thomas. Thomas had a big, a lot of big plays in the run game. But... From to throw, screen pass to Swift. Freddie Johnson, great job. Yes. This is how you play middle linebacker. You said he'd make a lot of tackles, and he has. 
He sucked out that screen right away, sidestepped a potential blocker. Watch him right in the middle. He's got his eyes right on number seven. He reached screen now, and he gets there. Beat the block from the receiver and made the play. And then give it off to him to the left of him. And stood up right at the line of scrimmage by Buddy Johnson. Whew. Yep. He's zeroed in on that one back running game. He can feel it. The late shift, he feels it's going to go the other direction. Right there. Right to him. Beats it inside. Gets by Solomon Kinley, number 66, and makes the ball. And now Swift joins him back there. Jake, look out from behind. Down he goes. That's what they did. Aaron Hansford with a sack. Overloaded blitz. They moved up from the line of scrimmage to draw that offensive line in. You move the linebackers inside, and that gets the linemen to go down, and you come around the outside. Well designed. You see it. Andrew Thomas moved in and allowed the blitz from the outside. They brought five. his third consecutive start, and Brown a little pop pass to Dylan Stoner. And a &M starts strong defensively, a loss of five. Damani Richardson is the quarterback in a third and 15. Brown under pressure, and down he goes. Wow. Looks like he got knocked down by the back of one of his own offensive linemen. A day off? That's the second day off for him. Offensive line doesn't like this. Brown is blown up and sacked. A loss of 11 yards on the play. Tyree Johnson gets his second. And now Texas A&M's offense has got to start rewarding. L.D. Brown, the running back. Drew Brown trying to fool Texas A&M again. And Damani Richardson had none of that. A loss of seven. His fifth tackle of the game and his second tackle for a loss. Did not fool the... Pressure comes, and Brown gets blasted. Devion Renfro, the corner off the edge for a major loss, minus nine on the play. The story of this second half has been the defensive units for both teams, and Michael Clemens gets up the field, tremendous penetration, a lot. That's what you're thinking. Brown pressured. Brown set. Initially, Jaden Peavy, DeMarvin Leal on the back end of it. Why not to take a timeout? Down to one, Sanders. He got it off. And Spencer Sanders is hit shy of the line to gain. AM holds up. Maybe Oklahoma State should have taken that timeout as Sanders comes up a yard short.